An adventuring party murdered my two sons last week because they suspected they were involved in a dark cult with no evidence whatsoever. I guess that's what they get for existing. Considering you just murdered six people in front of me, I'm gonna say, no, you can't have a room. How are you confused that we're here to arrest you? You decapitated an elf in the town square. So what exactly about all this makes you think I've ever owned anything magical in my entire life? No, for the sixth time, there's no mysteriously clogged figures in this tavern. Now move along. Can't help but notice that your exact description matches every single wanted poster we have. You want to scroll over Vivify? My guy, I sell mead. Well, we're pretty sure we know who the culprit is because Fireball has a verbal requirement. Had some kind of warlock fella in here last week telling me in exchange for a room he'd reanimate my dead parents. Told the crazy fool, my parents aren't even dead. And that's when he broke me the bad news. In what world did you think anyone would want 62 pounds of harpy feathers? Get this, last week I was doing my rounds on the external perimeter of our township and I stumbled across what I could only assume was two elks engaging in the pleasantries of mating season. And then one of them shapeshifted into a human. You think adventuring is tough? Try explaining to a paladin that we don't serve holy water on tap. How are things? Well, a wizard came into the store the other day and tried to tell me how much to sell all of my items for. And when I told him I get to set my own prices, he threatened to burn my entire store down. So, things are great. You know, I used to be an adventurer like you. And then I watched all my friends get murdered in front of me. I feel like it's pretty safe to assume that you're the ones responsible for the gaping hole in the roof of room 3. What the hell do you want bat excrement for? Mama told me that signing up to be a guard in a very remote, small township was rather pointless as it'd be pretty dull and I'd get bored. Then an adventurer came along and traded me a deck of cards in exchange for simple directions. Ooh, a dragon! Yeah, we decided to paint the floor red. It's easier that than cleaning up the constant bloodstains. What can you get for a hundred gold? I'll... I'll give you my son. You stand accused of disturbing the peace, grand theft horse, and attempting to bribe a guard with a chicken. I've somehow become one of the wealthiest people in town because no one seems to know the value of a drink. Have you ever tried explaining to an adventurer that no entry means no entry? It's like talking to a very heavily armored wall with magic and guns. There used to be four of me. A cure for petrification. Have you tried leeches? Welcome to the Frosty Tankard, the origin place of some of the most wanted criminals in all of the Forgotten Realms. In what world exactly do you think I have three months of rations ready to sell? I haven't eaten in two days. I've been ordered by our lordship to sentence you to a public hanging, but seeing as one of your companions shapeshifted into some form of polar bear, fuck this shit, I'm out. Every adventurer seems to want a tankard of my strongest stuff, but none of them ever seem to sense check what's in it. We've just been using dishwater and leftover ale. Everyone always wants a discount because they save the town, but saving the town doesn't pay my bills. Nothing like a wizard to make guard duty feel like adult babysitting with magic. You want a full set of plate armor? I'll tell you what, I'll sell you my shirt for three copper. Do they think we don't notice when they cast invisibility right in front of us? Like, we're not that stupid. I tried telling them that we had no rooms left and they insisted they'd make room. What do you think they meant by that? I'm pretty sure you just stole that from me and now you're trying to sell it back. Look, that gentleman's staff just turned into a snake, so do whatever the fuck you want. Bag of holding? I've got a bag of onions. Why do adventurers always think it's a good idea to hatch dragon eggs inside of my tavern? Why do they even have dragon eggs? And who am I talking to? Are we going to talk about the fact that you've got six severed heads in the back of your wagon? Look, I may be a run-of-the-mill shopkeep, but the only thing magical about that dagger in your hand is the fact that you haven't killed someone with it. Wait, don't use it on me. You think cleaning up after regular patrons is tough? Try cleaning up after a drunken wizard cast create water inside. So the quest our lord has asked you to investigate is there seems to be a group of individuals traveling from town to town and burning down everything they can get their hands on. Funnily enough, they actually resemble... Oh shit. No, exposure isn't a valid form of payment. So we had a gambling night the other night and 13 people were killed. I've sold 18 health potions in the past week and the funny thing is, I don't even know what a health potion is. I just had some old wine sitting in a jar on my counter and somebody bought it. Look, I'm just a guard here. Why in the world would I want to know where the dungeon of death is? Last group of adventurers I had through here spent two hours searching for a hidden trap door or entrance, so I thought I'd join in. I didn't want to spoil the fun by telling them that I was the one who built the place. Why do adventurers always assume I know the going rate for Dragon Scale? It's not like they come in every week. By royal decree you are charged with smuggling illegal potions, inciting a riot, 
and stealing our lord's dash hound. You want a helmet that reads minds? Can't say I have any of those, but perhaps a good book would be more enlightening. We had a bard in here last week that played the song so bad that even the rats left. Now that's talent. All this talk of taverns has really got me in the mood for a good old fashioned tavern brawl. Please no more, my mops are still stained with blood. Fine, perhaps instead the bartering got a bit heated at our general goods store and now we need to resolve to physical negotiations. Look, I like my shop, but none of it means that much to me. You can take whatever you want. Well then guards, we're not gonna go down without a fight, so let's roll initiative. Please no. Look, I'm just trying to showcase that Chaipeku maps have a map for every single occasion, so can you just play along for a second? Fine. By the order of our lord, come with us now or bear the wrath of our swords. Well, I cast power word kill. What? Although it was only a short-lived combat encounter this time around, Chaipeku have an abundance of map series, themes, variants, and animations to use in all of your in-person games via printer or screen, or in virtual tabletop scenarios with direct VTT integration at the simple click of a few buttons. Look, let's face it, it's a nightmare trying to stay on top of all the potential combat scenarios your players may get into in any given session. So, Chaipeku alleviates the burden of you having to source dozens of potential options by allowing you to sort and source map themes that fit the current scenario that you're in. You can even search their maps on their websites by theme or keyword to find exactly what you're looking for. Right now there's over 5,000 battle maps readily available today, and I'm yet to find a scenario where there wasn't a map to fit my session needs. So if you want to find out more, check out Chaipeku Maps on Patreon or visit their website, or just click on the link in my description. You were just joking about the whole power word kill thing, right? Huh, well that's funny. I don't recall casting anime dead.